hey there, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. It is I, Embrace the Matrix. It is New Year's Eve. The Eve of the New Year. And did you honestly think that I wasn't going to put a video out and talk to my people? My friends, my fans, my whatever you call yourselves. I want to wish you all a very happy new year, prosperous, and we're going to start it out with probably one of the coolest paintings I've done in a while. I've been sitting on it. Yes, I have. Um, this one turned out just super, super, super cool. We hit it up. It's obviously fluid-ish, um, little neon colors. And again, I just wanted to throw a quick little 10 minute video. I know you're all busy with your drinking and partying and smoking and doing whatever, you know, debaucherous uh, things today. This is the day to get it out and start everything fresh, uh, you know, tomorrow. I get it. So if you give me 10 minutes of your time and yeah, so this is just going. This is what I call fucking. Oh, I don't usually like to swear on these, but. What the hell, it's the end of the year. Look at that, even Karate Chop It. Um, you know, this is what I call it, going fluid crazy, man. Just like, oh, but wait a minute, what just happened there? Did you see what just happened there? With that last move? You can rewind it. Even I'm like, oh man. Doesn't that look cool? So, <clears throat> I'm just blowing bubbles. Get rid of those bubbles. But yeah, I mean, that last little throw of the cup, man, created, what in my mind, what I see instantly. It just reminds me of the Alien movie. Um, so whether it's, you know, a face hugger or um, the actually Alien. But look at that. I wasn't going to touch that sucker. But now here's the thing. The edges on this painting just, like, were absolutely, like... I don't know how to, I'm trying to think of a funny way to put it, but they're just like, we're not going to take any paint. We're just, I, I didn't, I should have gessoed it. You know, one thing I'm learning about fluid painting, like if you're, if you think you're going to trust that store bought gesso, forget it. Because, you know, I don't know. I say throw something on there, whether it's like house latex, house paint, you know, which sometimes I'll do. Or uh, an absorbent ground, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to experiment with that. I just got some absorbent ground. Absorbent ground. And I only messed with it once. And probably not in the way it was meant or intended. But I'm going to just, you know, ground up a few paintings. And then I'm going to try some fluid. Because that, that, that makes the, uh, you know, it makes it want to suck in paint. So let's see what happens, you know. We like things that suck um, over here in the Matrix land. So, yeah, I mean, I'll be honest, it's it's New Year's Eve. It's, uh, what time is it? 1.27 p.m. I'm in Ohio in the United States of Trump. Uh, so, so, it, so it were. Um, fun, fun, should be. Uh, so, yeah, it's uh, 12.31, 2016. And, um, but yeah, what I'm doing is I'm, top, I'm masking off the top because I'm at least going to black the sides. Um, paint the sides black because I, you might see it when I flip it up but the paint just didn't take it's weird like and I'm using acrylic paints I think this was like an artist loft because like you only get these goofy neon colors in like artist loft but yeah you can see I mean it looked like crap I was hoping it would really have a nice bleed over the edge but it didn't so whatever we'll throw on a little golden carbon black make it go bye bye that's what i love about painting i love about ac uh, acrylics for i guess i don't know nothing about oils but at least painting acrylics and um they're really forgiving and man you could take i mean some sides were just atrocious i mean that the top came out beautiful awesome i can't wait to varnish it um but this is going up today the last day of the year this is one of the coolest paintings i've done um, it's going to be for sale in my in my store, so if you're looking for that that you know super last minute gift, go get you it. Um, 
go check it out so I don't honestly at this particular moment in time at 1 28 p.m. on New Year's Eve I don't even have a title for it yet I haven't even thought about it I've just been too busy looking at it um, but we're not even we haven't even got to the cool part yet I still have one more fixer to do here which uh, I haven't seen anybody else do it this way, but I'm sure maybe somewhere along the line somebody has, but I'm doing it this way in 2016 in northeastern Ohio, and this is how I do it. You'll see it here shortly, how I like to do my borders or my edges. So anyways, I hope you all have a great new year. Um, I already said that, but I'm saying it again. Thank you. I, 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 uh, I'm, I think I'm almost at 800 subscribers. Man, that's so awesome. Since I just started this in like February. That's so cool. I appreciate it. I get so many cool comments. Um, the, you know who you are. You, you comment. I get back with you. We have a nice like two sentence conversation. But hey, you know, get with me on Instagram or Twitter. I spend most of my time on Instagram. So I'll be honest, if you really want to communicate, I try to post as much as I can, but I'm on Twitter. So I'm on the Facebook too a little bit, but not as much. I kind of like Instagram. Okay, here we go. This is, I had to go specially to the store and get some soft body, um, like Liquitex. And I was looking for carbon black, but all they had was ivory black. I don't know if they make it in carbon black, but that's okay. Um, Cause we'll make it do. Because even if you look at the top, look at the top, you see how it like thinned out right at the edge like the paint was the consistency was good you know but it just when it got to that edge because it had a crappy uh gesso i think you know so i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna rely on any uh um uh you know from the store gessos i'm gonna start gessoing everything or you know grounding everything the hell with them but anyways i just got my exacto knife and i'm just pulling the paint in man i'm giving this cool little um, you know, shark tooth kind of border. So I'm doing two things. I'm, I'm obviously covering up that, you know, that hideous thinning on the edge, and I'm giving it one hell of a cool ass looking border that is, look at that, hand done by my hands. They touched it. My hands. You don't know where my hands have been, but that, that doesn't matter. They've been all over this painting, I can tell you this much. So, and I'm not bashful. Not at all. So anyways, yeah. Do we got any ideas for names? I, I don't know. I mean, it's like the alien encounter on canvas. I mean, it looks so cool. Um, I really, I truly can't wait. To, I just put the black on, so I'll wait a few weeks. And I'll varnish it one way or another. It sucks. I, hey, let me ask you artists out there. Like, <clears throat> I usually spray varnish all my paintings. doesn't matter. Most of them have texture, so I just defaulted to spray varnish, you know. I got a good uh, Krylon. Um, I found a good, I like it, it works. Um, I forget what it's called. It's not, it's uh, it's expensive stuff. It's like eight bucks a can or something. But anyways, so, but I usually spray varnish everything. Because that's just, even if it's like a s smoother, flatter painting, I still spray varnish it. Now, what do y'all do in the winter? Like, if you're up here in Northeast, like, I can't go outside and spray varnish paintings. I damn sure ain't spraying this stuff in the house. I tried it one time when I first got it, and I had a mask. Man, you need a full bodysuit and mask and everything else, dude. You gotta, like, spray aerosol shit outside. Forget that noise. So, yeah, like, I don't wanna, um, you know, use, uh, you know, paint on varnish, which I have, and I, I've done a couple. But you know what I mean? Like, what do y'all do? Just, like, hope they don't sell and sit on them? Because you got to varnish them if they sell, you know, certainly. I usually wait a few weeks. Like, you know, two, three weeks, whatever. And then I go do a bunch of them. I'll, like, gather up a bunch of them. I'll have, like, ten or so paintings. And I'll just go knock them all out at once. <clears throat> now I'm sitting on a whole bunch. It's, like, three degrees outside and we got snow everywhere. And I can't, I'm not going out there and painting. Um, so I don't know if you guys got any tips or suggestions let me know below and what I mean is for like texture paintings that you not normally or not at all ever would um, you know paint varnish with like some liquid text you know gloss paint varnish or whatever <clears throat> so I don't know let me know but anyways I'm just beating it along the edge here trying not to make a big mess and then just exacto knifing it in bada bing bada boom instant awesome instant awesome don't we love instant awesome 
Now this may not be your typical piece that you'd want to put up in your room. I don't know if this would be something for some elegant living room. You know, maybe like um, I don't I don't know I don't know what type of person, what type of individual would put this on their wall. I would. I think it's freaking slick as shit. Um, I think it came out awesome. Um, but anyways grounding up to the end here so yeah i i want to just give you all a happy new year i didn't want to just throw you know regular old video up i got some great close-ups too you're gonna love these look at that so cool um but anyways yeah i hey be safe out there i don't drink so i don't go out and go crazy and even when i did i usually stayed home anyways so definitely be safe out there and um Especially if you're up north, because, you know, we might get snow and it's cold and, you know, you don't want to bond Scott yourself or something like that. So, <clears throat> but, you know, have a safe and happy new year. And hope you're not one of those people that are, like, hating on 2016. Like, you can blame a year for stuff. You just got to move forward. It's called life. Life is not restrained by boundaries of years. Uh, it's, it doesn't matter. And you just you have a life. There you go. Look at that. So cool, huh? So awesome. I don't know. I'm gonna think of a cool name for it. You guys will be proud. Have a happy, happy new year. And uh yeah. And we'll be seeing you in twenty seventeen. I'll be on Twitter tonight. Peace.